a wasp's nest. It's just below a dragon. Wasps are predators and pollinators, or like they can also be um, parasites. So there are different types of wasps, and they have different roles in the ecological system. And some people just want to get rid of them, but um, we like for, for first, it's quite dangerous to get rid of them because they are quite dangerous, and when there are many of them. And if you're allergic, it's it, you can get really, really hurt. So it's actually better just to leave them alone and just uh, have them do their purpose, either pollinate or be um, predators. Or even you can, they might be like infest other um, pests and kill them. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, I just read on Wikipedia that it's. Um, uh, wasps can be valuable in uh, horticulture for biological pest control. Biological pest control is quite interesting. Um, of species like um, such as white fly in tomatoes um, and other crops, which is uh, j just there on Wikipedia. So that's pretty, pretty interesting that you can have all these things that you were taught that okay, uh, like every time there is like wasp nest or whatever, people just get rid of it. But if you just like try to investigate a, a little bit more, you can find that it's um, actually a part of nature and you just need to leave them alone. And if I believe that if you just leave nature alone as much as possible um, and just protect yourself, then it will just take care of... If, if there are too many um, of some kind of pest, and you don't do anything and there will eventually come predators and kill that pest because they want that it's food for them so it's just a balance that needs to be but it takes time that's the only problem so if you want to create something and not wait 100 200 300,000 years then you might need to help nature a bit but otherwise wasps are a good way of doing biological pest control. I'm looking forward to those tomatoes without any larvae in them.